the beaches of Martha's Vineyard are as varied as the island's six towns. The rough surf of the Atlantic Ocean on the south shore is fantastic for body surfing and fishing. On the other side of the island, the waters are calm and more shallow, offering families a safe experience for little ones. Hi, I'm Jen O'Hanlon, your Martha's Vineyard real estate agent. And today I'm going to share with you my six favorite beaches. One of the most popular public beaches on the island is South Beach in Katema. Katema is the South Shore area of Edgartown, and there is a bike path all the way from town to the beach, as well as ample parking nearby. The Atlantic Ocean spreads out in front of you here, and the soft, sandy shoreline is great for long beach walks. While you'll often see lots of body surfing, beware of the big waves and possible rip currents. Our next stop is State Beach, which is halfway between Edgartown and Oak Bluffs. Driving on Beach Road to get here is one of the most beautiful sights on the island, with the Vineyard Sound on one side and Sendra Kentucket Pond on the other. The beach is ideal for families with young ones, as it's a short walk from where you park and the waters are shallow. For those seeking privacy and a little adventure, I highly recommend you take the three-car ferry over to Chappie and head over to East Beach or Wasquee. These beaches are managed by the trustees of reservation, and while you can park at Wasquee, the real adventure involves taking some air out of your tires and driving your SUV right onto the beach. You'll be able to find a private spot, even during the busiest days of summer. And don't forget your fishing rod, as Chappie has some of the best spots to catch bluefish and striped bass. The fourth on my list of favorites is Long Point Beach in West Tisbury. Another beach operated by the trustees. There is a fee to park and you may need to purchase tickets in advance. You'll travel down a long dirt road to get there, but it's well worth the trip. This beach makes the list because it truly has something for everyone. You can hang out on the South Shore where there are big waves or by Long Cove where you can rent a kayak or paddleboard. And for those looking for more activity, there's a two mile trail through the surrounding woods and fields. If you're lucky enough to live in West Tisbury or to be somebody's guest, you'll have access to Lambert's Cove Beach. The trail through the woods leads to a little boardwalk. When you walk over this to the beach, you are in a cove off of the Vineyard Sound with views of the Elizabeth Islands. Secluded and with shallow waters, it's an ideal spot for children to run and play at the water's edge. The final stop on our beach tour is Moship's Beach in Aquina. It's a public beach at the foot of the red clay cliffs and is one of the most stunning spots on the island. Plan time to tour the Wampanoag Cultural District and the amazing red brick lighthouse above the cliffs during your visit. That was a quick peek at my six favorite beaches. Thanks so much for joining me on this adventure. Remember to hit subscribe to stay up to date with all things Martha's Vineyard.